And this is all that's left of a car after it crashed through a fence and went right into a home. The driver did survive but left a lot of damage behind. And Fox 35's Marie Edinger went to that home in Groveland tonight where neighbors say they've worried for years that something like this could happen. This is not an accident. This was a disaster waiting to happen. Glenroy Griffith was in his front yard when he heard a boom. He ran out back to see a Tesla had barreled through his yard and into his house, then his neighbor's house. The car burst into flames just after ring camera video caught the driver crawling out of it. Okay? The path of the crash went over the spot where Griffith says he and his daughter had been standing less than a minute before. We could have been burying lots of kids this time. The speed he was going, nobody had a chance. You see that downed tree behind me? That is where the crash started. The driver then slammed through three different fences before hitting those two houses. This all happened on Saturday, but you can see the effects are still here. All of these dangerous shards of plastic. The force of the crash was actually strong enough to send plastic pieces just like this onto nearby roofs. The car was a Tesla Model S. That's a $100,000 vehicle that can go zero to 60 in under two seconds. Griffith thinks the driver was going even faster than that when he crashed. I was a paramedic for two or three years. I race bicycles semi-pro. I have a good idea of speed. It looks like our fence just exploded. Brittany Reynante, whose property was also damaged in the crash, says she's seen the same Tesla speeding through the neighborhood and running stop signs before. And there's a big, big group, and they have all been trying in this neighborhood to get the speed tables up. They've had no luck so far, and now Griffith alone is facing $60,000 or more in damage to his home. This is not an accident. This is total, totally, from my perspective, record endangerment. You have total disregard to life, people, and even yourself. The driver of the Tesla was taken to a hospital and later released. No word yet on whether he'll face any charges. Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.